Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So up to now we have learned how to how to uh, simulate the HTTP uh, GET request or POST request using the HTTP client testing module we have seen. And we have to see another scenario also. That is nothing but for example, let's say that we are calling the GET POST, right? So now we are expecting that here in the HTTP testing controller that only one time only this one is called. So that means get post should be called only once. For example, if we call another get post here. So what will happen? Let's try to see. So here if you try to see, we are getting that no expected one matching only. So we found it two requests. So this could be a problem, right? So now here, so only the get post is calling two times, but we are checking it the only one time. For example, let's say that I am calling a delete post here. Okay. So delete post, I am subscribing to this one. So here I am delete post, I am calling and I am subscribing to this one. So now, so let's say that posts of zero. So we are sending one, one post data. So now here we are calling the delete post here. Here we are having post service dot uh, in the TS. We are calling this delete post request. And here I am also calling this some, somehow the our code in such a way executed that it is calling this delete post also. Now it should throw an error. Why? Because only one should be called, right? So get post should be called other than this get post. Nothing. No, no HTTP request should be made, but here delete post is also calling. Now let's see what is the, what will be the output. If you try to see here, all the specs has been passed. So what is the problem here happening? The HTTP testing controller ex expect one. What it will try to do is. So it will check that only one time only this URL is called, it will check. So it will not check other, th other than this, if, if any delete post or any other URLs are calling also, it will not bother. So it will check only that whether the given URL, whatever the given URL you have given, it is called only one time or not only it will check. So if other URLs are called means it will not bother. So because of this reason, we are getting an, we are, we are not getting any error. So how to overcome this one? So let's try to see this. So here, if you go to a post service, let's say that we have a get post. Okay. So we are having a get post. So which will take the post ID of number. And here I will be taking this one and I will call the same thing. Okay. But here it will take something like post ID. It will call with the post ID. So whatever the URL. So whenever you want to have this get, uh, get the post details of id 1 means so it will be calling with slash post slash 1 or otherwise it post id with 2 means it will call with post slash 2 so now here fine and it will be returning you the single thing only so now let's try to test this get post method if you go to our post http service and here i will be creating a new test suite something like describe of get post okay so i am calling the get post so in this one, here I will be adding it should return single post when get post is called with post ID. Okay, so this is the test case. Now what should I do here? <clears throat> we need to call the post service dot get post of one so first i will be calling to this one and i will do the subscribe okay so next one what i will try to do so here a constant request is equal to http testing controller testing controller dot expect one of so what is the url we will be trying to do so here this is the url right so now this is the url and we need to it should be called with slash one. So we are passing with the get post of one means. So it need to call something like, like this, the URL should be framed and it should be called only once. So fine. It is, uh, so we have written like this and here I can write something like expect request dot request dot method dot to be of get. So that's it. So this is our simple post request sorry get request so here we are calling a single post get post to get the single post details with id of one and i am subscribing to this one so that it will simulate the http request and also i am checking that that request should be made only once and also the url should be like this 
so this the the HTTP request with this URL should be made only once. So this is the thing. So now if I try to test it, and if you try to see here. Where is this one? Post component. Yeah, here get post method should return single post. It got passed. So fine, it got passed. Now, for example, somehow in our code it is happening in a such a way that so another URL is uh, calling. So if you are call another time also, this get post of one is calling. So now what it will try to do? It will throw an error that only one time only this get slash slash post slash one should be called. So it should not call more than one time. So found two requests. So that reason it has thrown an error. Fine. But if for any reason, so when we are trying to call with a get post of one somewhere, somewhere we are trying to call, and this method is also got executed, something like get post of two. So with the post two, it has been executed. Now what will happen? Let's try to see. Now we got the success. So as we already discussed, what is happening here? The HTTP testing controller expect one will check only will make sure that only one HTTP request has been made with this URL, not with the Two URL. Now the URL has been changed. So now it will be checking that only one time only should be called with this slash post slash one. But here, other than but our requirement is other than the slash post slash one, none of the request should be made. So nothing, nothing, no request should be more should should be made other than this post slash one. So now how can we overcome this one? So now here what we can do is so here we can use a special method that is nothing but HTTP testing controller. Dot verify. You can use this dot verify, and it will this verify. What it will try to do is, it will make sure that only whatever the testing controller you have expected, only this URL has been made. Other than this, no other request should be made. No other open request should be should be there. Now here, get post of one is called. Okay, this one is satisfying. But other than this, this verify means only we should check that only this has to be made. Other than this. None of the request should be made. So here, get post get post of two is also doing. So that because of that reason, so it will throw an error. Now it's the let's try to see the output. So here, expected no open request other than this post slash one, but we found one post slash two. So only the allowed request is this post slash one only. Other than this, nothing, no request other other request should be made. But here, post slash two is trying to make. So for that reason, it is throwing an error. So in this type of scenarios, so that means. Whatever the request you are trying to do, other than this request, so other than this request, if any other requests are making in this request in this post means if you want, if you don't want to allow means if you want to verify means you can use this HTTP testing controller dot verify. Normally, all the people what they will try to do is they will try to keep it in the after each something like here they will try to do so here this is our before each right and this is our before get post and this is our thing. And some people, what they will try to do is they will try to keep it in the after each, so that it will try to check for all the test cases. And here they will be writing. So this is also one and the same only. So if I try to check, it is passing. And if I try to do get post of two, now it will fail immediately. Okay. So now if it is, it will fail immediately. It is saying that either. So not only for this one. So in any in anything. So for example, if I try to write here also. Get post of one. If I try to make this another one, get post of one here, it will fail immediately. Get post thing will be fail immediately. Okay, it has been it has been fail immediately for this should return get post method. So this is how we can check that if no other request should be made other than the testing request means. So you can use this HTTP testing controller dot verify method. Hope you understood about this HTTP controller verify method. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. I will try to give the reply. And also if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you